Hello, my name is Kevin Bartosh, and today I will be discussing the five key concepts I learned in Dynascapes through my Hort 120 for computer application for landscape contracting class. Those concepts include model space, polyline, layers, figures, and the plant label tool. In addition to this, I will also be discussing the difference between industry and non-industry and show you where AutoCAD and Dynascapes fits in those categories. After working with these two programs, Dynascape and AutoCAD, I noticed multiple similarities and differences. Dynascapes is an industry-based program, which means it's geared towards the landscape-specific industry. And we can see this in features such as the plant labeling tool and the layers that are pre-built into the system for plants, furniture, and scaling objects in the landscape. AutoCAD, on the other hand, is a non-industry specific, which means it is not geared towards any specific industry, but instead allows for more versatile uses of the program outside of landscape work. Model space is where we draw real-world one-to-one scale, like AutoCAD. However, unlike AutoCAD, model space in Dynascape allows us to actually print right from the drawing space. The polyline tool is very unique and useful because of its versatility. We were actually able to use the grip edits in the polyline tool to smooth out and make arcs from rough sketch-ins. This was very convenient in the design process. Another nice feature of the polyline tool is that we were actually able to use the closed polyline to make the hatch boundaries, which allowed us to put in the stone walkways. The layers in Dynascapes are convenient because they're already preloaded. This allows us to differentiate between different objects in the landscape design. This is another example of how Dynascapes and AutoCAD differ because in AutoCAD, layers are much more customizable and do not come preloaded. Figures allowed us to represent plants or objects such as a car to scale, show the functionality and purpose of the space. When you insert a figure, there are certain steps, such as rotating, sizing, and then inserting. The plant label tool is a crucial reason why Dynascape is an industry-specific program. The plant label tool is convenient for landscape designers because it allows us to actually label the plant and create an inventory for the plants. Labeling a plant actually allows for the database to remember what plant you've chosen in the past, and the price you've set for that specific plant. Another nice feature of the plant label tool is that you're actually able to cluster count the amount of plants there are in a certain area instead of having to do it manually. All in all, there are a lot of features in Dynascapes that are very appealing to people in the landscape industry, and I could see why someone would want to go with this program instead of something like AutoCAD that is not industry specific. Thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation on my Dynascapes project.